In this video, you're gonna learn how to boost your Xcode build performance, AKA builds faster in your project significantly up to 10X. Before we jump into things, hit that like button down below if you're pumped, subscribe if you're into iOS and let's get started. So I've got this project here, the Rick and Morty app that we have been building over the past several videos. It is indeed quite large. If I open up the hierarchy over here, it is pretty big. Now I do have it already pre-built, so if I go ahead and just give it a command B to compile, it's basically doing a incremental build, which is why it's a few seconds, but if I was to do a clean of my caches, derive data, and do a build, we're on the order of a few minutes. Now, as most of you know, some products are enormous, so this can get out of hand super duper quick. So let's figure out a way that we can actually improve it, and it's through a build setting that most people are actually not aware of. So let me just uh, close up all these folders on the left-hand side, so my OCD is in check, and let's jump on over to build settings. So I've already got it filtered over here, but if you go to build settings, you wanna select on uh, the target over here that you want to optimize for, um, the target that has all of your source included under build phases. Next up, you're gonna select build settings. Now, once you're in build settings, at the top left here, there's a few options for basic, customized, and all. Um, you wanna make sure you're on all because when we filter it, like we're about to do in a moment, if you're under basic or customized, you won't necessarily see the option. So let's come to the filter field at the right here, and I'm gonna type in other L. And when you type in other L, what we care about is other librarian flags. So not to confuse this with other linker flags, because this is definitely not gonna work with other linker flags. In fact, if you put this on linker flags, your project won't even compile. So once we have uh, this filtered, let's double click. And there are actually three settings we want to add. So let's hit that little plus icon. And we're gonna do a dash W. And the first one that we want is linking C space true. So what this does is, this basically says that before you link, or before you try to compile rather, see if an artifact can be computed uh, in a more efficient capacity. In other words, don't start compiling in the standard way that the dependency graph is resolved. Cool, so the next one that we want to do is dash XC build for pre, True. Now the casing is important here, so make sure X, C, B, F, and P are indeed capitalized. This one here, what it will do is this will try to optimize your compilation in a way such that uh, it doesn't need to do duplicate work with uh, pre-compiled headers, parsing headers, figuring out where symbols come from in symbol tables, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And finally, the last one we want to do is dash X, C, E, X, P apple true this is a flag that i'm not entirely clear what it does but as far as i understand it allows you to enable experimental apple features um, particularly in xcode this is what apple engineers are using to make sure their stuff internally works so cool once we've done that make sure you do a command b to build you can either do it via the menu uh, at the top here or just build and you should still be able to compile there shouldn't be any issues and we're not quite done yet. There's one incredibly important thing that we haven't done yet, but make sure it's compiling at this point because if it's not, double check your settings and make sure that you haven't actually uh, put these settings in the other linker flags. Okay, cool. So now that we're good to go, the absolute last thing we wanna do is basically scope these settings to the source that we want them to apply to. So in other words, I have um, controllers here, models, views, um, view models, a bunch of things more or less. So what I'm gonna do is, as I mentioned, I've got tons of stuff in here. I'm just gonna highlight all the folders that I want this to apply to. Make sure it doesn't include your info P list because that's obviously your property list and not source. Go ahead and highlight all of it. You're gonna right click and we're gonna look for the option in here to scope. So it's actually this one right here. You're gonna hit delete, but stay with me. You're gonna hit delete and you're gonna hit move to trash. And just like that, that has actually applied the setting. So if you do a command B, you'll see that your project now is absolutely blazing fast. Your compiles will be under a second, not even that. We're talking about on the order of milliseconds. So this is definitely one of those things that you know a lot of experience um, uh, teaches you over time that you know 
the best way to think about it is mo code, mo problems. So if you want faster build speeds, no code equals, you know, to the moon build speed. So hope this video helps y'all. If, if it did, drop a like down below, share it with any other iOS developers you might know. Let me know in the comments if it worked for you because I want to make sure this is applicable to everybody. I'm here to serve the community. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate y'all sticking around to the very end. I will see y'all in the next video.